And as we started off this Saturday morning with rain and some thunderstorms moving through the Tulsa area, much of eastern Oklahoma is seeing some nice rainfall through the morning hours. Here's a live look from the Jinx Middle School looking back to the north, the Cityplex Towers. You notice clouds on the right hand part of your screen. That's to the east and to the west. Actually, a few breaks in the clouds as most of that rainfall has pushed off to the north and to the east of Tulsa. In fact, we've picked up some nice rainfall in many locations. Look at Miami now. It's picked up an inch and a quarter of rainfall since midnight. Poto's picked up 1.14 inches. Tahlequah, a little over 1.1 inches of rainfall. Salas, a little over an inch of rain. You notice Tulsa after the last hour, we picked up seven one hundredths of an inch additional from what we saw before. So we're now up to sixty five hundredths of an inch so far since midnight. So some good rainfall across eastern Oklahoma. We didn't see any severe weather. Even better news. So for the month now, it brings us up to about two point three inches of rainfall for the year. Eight point three two inches of rain. And look at that average through today. Eight point six eight. So we're only running about a third of an inch below average so far for 2015. Definitely some good news with this rainfall over the last couple of days. Speaking of that rainfall through the overnight, you notice that activity lifting from the south to the north. And over the last hour or so, we've seen things start to dry out a little bit here in Tulsa as most of this activity is lifting off to the north. Still raining lightly in Bartlesville up into southeast Kansas, far northeast Oklahoma, and right down the areas of far eastern sections of our state into western Arkansas. That's where we're seeing most of the rain. This will continue working its way to the north and northeast over the next several hours. So we'll see this finally start to move on out of here as we approach the midday hours. But as we start to warm things up again, we're going to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms start popping back up across the area, especially out in central and western Oklahoma. And some of those thunderstorms will try to move into our area during the evening hours. That would be the highest likelihood of seeing a severe storm would be during the afternoon and evening here in eastern parts of the state. Midtown Cam looking pretty good. I-44, no problems at all. A little bit on the damp side, though. Maybe cut down that speed a few miles per hour and you'll be in pretty good shape. 62 degrees. Winds out of the north and northeast right now at 7 miles per hour. Notice that humidity level quite high at 90%. Area-wide temperatures for the most part were in the 60s. We're at 60 degrees in Bartlesville, 61 Coffeeville, 68 already over in Chandler. You notice southeast Oklahoma for the most part we're running low to mid 60s. So fairly pleasant out there, but with that lack of sunshine may feel a little bit cool to you with that breeze. So maybe a light jacket for you through the morning hours. Again, we're seeing temperatures in the 60s, a nice mild start across much of Oklahoma. More in the way of breaks in the clouds. Western sections of the state allowed temperatures briefly to drop into the 50s right now, 57 degrees at Clinton. And you go further to the west, temperatures really drop off into the 40s this morning. Areas of southeastern Colorado, even into the Oklahoma Panhandle, 47 right now in Guymon. All right, our high resolution future track is a move on through the rest of the morning into the afternoon hours. We'll start you off here at the 9 o'clock hour. Again, best chances of rain to the north and east of Tulsa. As as we move through the morning hours, watch this area of rainfall continue to work its way to the north. But you notice back behind it, some scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms redeveloping during the morning hours. As we start to warm things up, we warm that atmosphere up and we'll get a few of those showers and storms to redevelop across the area. Through the afternoon hours, again, as temperatures continue to warm, we'll see areas of showers and a few thunderstorms. You notice not everywhere is going to see rainfall through the afternoon hours. But we could see a few of those pop up during the rest of the day. So if you have any outdoor plans, make sure you take the umbrella with you. It's not going to rain all day, but you may run into some of these showers and storms from time to time. So just be advised of that. Then out to the west, we'll watch for some showers and thunderstorms developing out in western and central Oklahoma, trying to move into eastern sections of the state as we move into the evening hours. A few of these potentially strong to isolated severe as they move into eastern Oklahoma. Hail would be the main threats with that activity. We do have a slight risk for severe weather today, generally along and west of Highway 75 in the yellow shading. A marginal risk for severe weather across the rest of eastern Oklahoma, which means any thunderstorms that we see, the majority of those will be below severe limits, but one or two could be briefly severe here in eastern Oklahoma. Then for tomorrow, a cold front will move through during the midday hours and it'll push most of the thunderstorms off to the southeast. We do have a slight risk for severe weather tomorrow across far eastern Oklahoma. Temperatures today, though, running in the mid-70s, so it will be a mild day, a little bit on the muggy side with some scattered showers and thunderstorms through the rest of the day. We'll keep that going for tonight with temperatures dropping into the mid to upper 50s. And then to move on into tomorrow as that cold front moves through, still a 50-50 shot of more rain and thunderstorms. An isolated severe storm, not out of the question for our Sunday. Better chances to the south and east. Monday looking like the best day of the week. Sunshine, highs in the upper 60s. Then rain chances return Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Brianne, so very unsettled weather pattern. Really about two weeks we've been in this yeah. now. Much needed rainfall. If you have outdoor plans, and it hasn't been the best, but we definitely need the rainfall. Yeah, and so again, you were telling us we really might catch up to the rainfall totals that we need. Yeah, there's some potential. If we get more rain through the afternoon, evening, and overnight, we might actually be above average by tomorrow. Wow, that is really exciting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Weather nerds rejoice, right? Yeah, there you go, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Taft. Well, coming up next, an Oklahoma teen 